Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm Dan Odie. I'm the athletic director and head basketball coach at Cramerton Christian Academy. And it's my pleasure to welcome you to one of the highlights of our year, our annual athletic awards ceremony. It will be a little different this year considering the circumstances, but I hope you'll tune in. Every day up until the day of graduation, one of our coaches will be sharing uh, about the awards that will be given out for their team. Each coach will generally be giving three awards. First of all, our most outstanding player will be given to the individuals who most significantly impacted team success based on their uh, statistical accomplishments. Additionally, we'll be giving out a coach's award. This is given to the player who the coach believes uh, had the most impact on team success based on their uh, attributes, their leaderships, their, their hard work, uh, dedication, other things that the coach believed significantly contributed to team success. And finally, we'll be giving out our Crusader Award. This is an award we consider of highest honor as to the individual who most represents Christ, uh, who demonstrated excellent sportsmanship and spiritual maturity, uh, was an encouragement to their teammates, and who the coaches want to recognize for their spiritual contributions to their team and to our school. Now, I want to thank everyone for a very successful year in Cramerton Christian Athletics. It has been a lot of fun uh, to be in, in, uh, in the stands as a coach, as an athletic director, as a fan, uh, to see the success of our teams. We participate in two member organizations, the Carolina Christian Conference and the North Carolina Christian School Athletic Association. This year, we were privileged to have seven teams play for a conference championship. Four of those teams won the championship, three of them finishing in second place. We also had an undefeated state champion with our JV boys basketball team. We had 18 student athletes who were named to the all-conference team. Uh, that's a, a team that is voted on by opposing coaches and athletic directors. Uh, student athletes who uh, opponents thought had uh, exceptional skill and ability and contributed to team success. We had 15 individuals uh, make the all-tournament team for their sports, uh, many of those helping to win those conference championships we discussed. We had two individuals who were named the most outstanding player uh, of the conference tournament and uh, both helped their team win that conference tournament. We had three varsity players make the all-region team for the state, one who was named all-state, and we are very excited that we have two young men who are making their final decisions about where they will play uh, basketball following their career at Cramerton. And so congratulations to E.J. Bird and Yashim Kendrick. I want to invite you to check the document that is accompanying this video uh, that identifies all of those individuals who uh, obtained excellence in their sports this year on the court and on the field and were recognized uh, for that excellence and thank you for all the hard work. To our student athletes, I want to say thank you. It, again, it has been a pleasure to watch you compete, to represent our school, to represent Christ uh, in, a, in an honoring way. Uh, so many hours and, and so much time and energy has gone into your success. So uh, thank you. You should all be proud of the time and the effort and energy you put in to accomplish the things that we accomplished on various courts and courses and uh, fields this year and, and you have represented us well and uh, we are excited about the success we had uh, in competition but also about the ways in which you represented our school. Thank you to all of our student athletes uh, for being a part of Cramerton Christian Athletics. Um, I also want to say a word of thanks to our coaches. Uh, coaches, you know that the hours you give are a labor of love. Um, and, and you know beyond what can be compensated uh, for your time, you are giving a great sacrifice and we thank you for the investment that you pour into our student athletes, for the expertise and experience, the time, talent, and energy that you pour into these young people as we seek to uh, teach them valuable life lessons that are way beyond the sports that we coach. Uh, ways to succeed as a team, to work with others, to overcome adversity, to work hard towards a stated goal. Uh, these are all things that we believe athletics uh, teach, and, and we are so thankful to you coaches who have given your time and energy uh, to teach these important life lessons. 
And finally, as I wrap up our introduction, I want to say a special word of thanks to the class of 2020. Uh, it has been an exceptional honor and privilege uh, to know and to coach all of you. Um, we started together four years ago. Your freshman year was my first year at Cramerton Christian Academy. And I want to say thank you because I have per personally witnessed you change a culture. Um, you inherited an athletic program that was rebuilding, uh, that was uh, struggling to retain upperclassmen and to be competitive, and you have turned it into the uh, accomplishments that we discussed just a few minutes ago. Uh, one of a program that is winning championships, that has uh, experienced great success at both the conference and state level, and that is a, a, a direct contribution from you, your dedication to our school, to your, uh, to your sport, your talents and abilities. And so I thank you as a fan, as an athletic director, as a coach. But I also thank you as a father because uh, you have allowed and inspired a, a younger generation, uh, the, the next group of our athletes, uh, to, to see what it means to be successful, to be dedicated, to overcome adversity, to work hard towards a goal. Uh, you have created a sense of school spirit uh, and, and, and just an excitement about who we are. And you have given younger players an opportunity to play uh, age appropriate. Many of you as freshmen were playing on our varsity team teams against juniors and seniors. Uh, you sacrificed your own ability opportunities to shine in those moments, uh, playing on a JV level or a developmental level, and you overcame and you accomplished great things. And I am so proud of you, and uh, it has been such an honor, and I am so excited to see what God does next in your life. And so thank you to all of our student athletes. A special word of thanks to our class of 2020 and the impact that you have had in transforming athletics at our school and school spirit and, and revitalizing our program, uh, you will not be forgotten. And we will be forever grateful for the environment you have created and the legacy that you are leaving. So thank you all. Uh, welcome to our athletic awards program. As I said, each coach will be taking a, a day to present their awards as we build up to graduation and as we celebrate our student athletes. And again, I encourage you to review the document that is attached and uh, recognize those individuals who have had exceptional seasons and their accomplishments and in, in athletics this year. Thank you. God bless you.